Hello everyone. Uh, I I continue uh, my video about a N N model for predict I C fifty percent in the Quizart uh, study. Uh, after you click the save result and you can see your workplace will show a lot of information here. If you click uh, in the folder import and you can see here the trends. Uh, as I mentioned before, they have around thirty five uh, uh fifty seven percent. Uh, the sample will um, we included in the grand sets and in here the sample one number one four seven a would include in grand sets and if you click in the um, the validation test we have around five sample the sample number uh, num number six five twenty twenty two twenty eight twenty nine and the uh, sample uh, 2, 3, 15, 16, 18, 23 were included in the test set. But the more important one is the output. Uh, you can see if you click in the output, they can uh, show you the result of I see 50% um, we predicted. And here I copy the whole data and I go to the Excel file and after that I pay it. So in here I copy again and I uh, make the uh, the column like that. You can see here with the IC in original data and with the IC prediction by the ANN model. So how you can present the data in your paper? Uh, in here I show you the paper they uh, with the QSAP um, uh, analysis. They use different model, especially they use artificial network uh, in the um, to predict uh, the IC, you can see here uh, they predict everything. They they copy the figure right in in the MATLAB. I just show you before uh, before input high layer high down layer output layer output layer. But in here they did not um, uh, detail uh, detail how the method they use. Uh, the especially in here we need to show the uh, with the algorithms we use in here especially we need to. Uh, Decry the Leibniz or Bayesian or Sequel conjugate radian that we use, and the uh, uh, the more important one is after you go to the result section and you can decry the data. In here they decry the data by R square. In here you have the R here. Let me show you. You have the R here. So you need uh, R uh, um, uh, make the R square by uh, 9.9 9 R square is around. Uh, uh, per one percent. It means that you know the results. Uh, the results. Uh, the model is suitable, right? Because you know R square is over sixty percent is uh, consi uh, consistency, and you can so can calculate the covariant um, uh, coefficient R CVs uh, by this. Uh, by this. Uh, let me show you. Uh, by this uh, formulas. By this equation, you can calculate by R CV. By one minus uh, no, um, the uh, the observation train minus the calculation train uh, square divide to uh, observation train to average. Uh, um, uh, but um, uh, you can uh, you can calculate by in the SL uh, to input in this um, study and also you copy the figures. Uh, you copy the figure as I mentioned before. You copy the regression here, and to put in the to uh, to put in your, your uh, paper here, or you can draw the uh, Excel like him here. To um, but I think he, uh, you uh, can uh, you this file and you file and you say as uh, by the tip file or uh, the tip file here. To publish uh, by this figure may be better, may be better than you know this uh, this figure. So uh, in this study, in this video, I show you how to uh, analyze and uh, predict the IC percent by using artificial neural network uh, networks. I hope this video will um, help you um, to further analysis, and uh, you can conduct. In, uh, the quiz sub model your for your future research. Thanks for uh, watching.